Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at our second equation dealing with methods of counting when it comes to finding permutations and combinations. So the expanded counting rule expands on the fundamental counting rule. So let's say there are k trials, not two, maybe three, four, five. k can be any number of trials. And for trial one, there are n1 outcomes. For trial two, there are n2 outcomes. For trial three, there are n3 outcomes. All the way down to the k trial, there are n sub k outcomes. So if we now conduct all of the trials and want to see the number of outcomes, all we need to do is multiply the outcomes of each individual trial. Now you may say, what's a trial? Well, we have some examples for you on the next video that helps us figure this out, but we have to stick to these fundamental rules. So when we have multiple, multiple trials and each trial has a particular number of outcomes, all we have to do is simply multiply all those outcomes and this is applicable to permutations as well as combinations. You'll see how that works with some examples. So now we have some two very fundamental rules, counting rules to work with and let's show you some examples on the next videos so you can see how to use those fundamental counting rules until we start looking at more complicated problems dealing with permutations and combinations. So stay tuned and we'll show you how to do that.